Hi, in this video, I'll show you how I unbricked this Godox X3S trigger when I intentionally did things out of order while trying to update its firmware from version 1.09 to 1.13. As you can see here, I can't turn it on with the on-off button or by pressing the knob. It seems to be bricked, even with a combination of the on-off button and pressing the knob at the same time. Nothing happens. You may find this screen with an arrow up and text in Chinese. However, as you'll see, I eventually get the green progress bar moving, which means I am able to update the firmware. After unplugging, I can turn it on. However, it's reset. It's not a big deal. Going into the settings, I'll show you that it's updated to the new firmware, version 1.13. There you go. Now let's start from the very beginning. First, you must have the trigger and a data transfer USB-C cable ready. I'll turn it on and show you the current firmware version. Drag down from the top, select setting the gear icon, scroll down to the bottom and select device info and its version 1.09. Next, go to your browser and enter godox.com. On this page, go to the support tab. In the drop down menu, select firmware. Then select firmware launcher installer and scroll to the bottom. For the X3 trigger, it's required to use Godox 3G Launcher V1.1. Select your operating system, Mac OS or Windows, and download it. Next, minimize the browser. Go into Downloads and unzip the file. Go back to the browser and scroll back up to the top. In the search bar, enter X3. Scroll down to find the firmware for your trigger or camera. Either X3 for Canon, for Nikon, or for Sony, and download it. Minimize the browser again and go back to Downloads to unzip that file. You can then delete the zip files if you want. Open the Godox IAP app. For Mac users, you might get this message. So go to System Settings and select Privacy and Security. And scroll down to Security. Next, cancel the message. And here, Select Open Anyway. Enter your administrator password, then select Open. You are now in the Godox Firmware Updater v1.1 app on the computer. Please note, right about here, I'll do things a bit out of order to demonstrate how I can fix what seems to be a bricked trigger. And that's what this video is mainly about. First, you're supposed to select Open File to choose the firmware that you downloaded it, the bin file. But first, I'll show you the current firmware version. Right now, I'm on version 1.09. Next, here's where some people might do things out of order, which I will demonstrate. But if you want to do it correctly in the right order, Please check out the video I did before for updating to version 1.09. I have the card link above and the link in the description below. So here we go. I connect one end of the cable to the computer and the other end to the X3 trigger. Here you can see on the screen it detects the connection, device connected. Next I hit update on the trigger and I see the arrow with the word upgrading. But on the computer, I see it's disconnected and then connected again, then some more. From here on, it's a little confusing. Please bear with me. 
So next I select update twice on the updater. I'm doing this trying to get the green progress bar moving. So I just keep selecting update on the computer. And here I get update device error message. Technically, I'm supposed to wait for the green progress bar to move each time I press update on the updater app on the computer. Now, I'm not supposed to unplug it yet, but I'm doing it anyway. And I get update device error messages and a lot more. Back to the trigger. The trigger screen is blank. I can't turn on with the on off button, the knob, pressing and holding them, nothing. It doesn't matter how long I hold them. Seemingly, it's bricked. Even a combination of both. And again, doesn't matter how long. So I just take a break and try again. Still nothing. So let me just plug it back in. Hmm, I get device connected. Now, messing with the trigger while it's plugged in, the important thing here is that I plugged it back in. I get something on the screen, the arrow up and text in Chinese. So I click update on the updater app on the computer and wait a little. And finally, as you can see, the green progress bar is now moving, which means it's now updating the firmware. So I just wait for it to complete. Now that it's done, I can turn the trigger off and I can unplug it. Let's see, turning it back on. As you can see, it's, it's now working again, but it seems to have been reset, which is fine for me. The battery icon animation is filling up, which I've never seen before after turning it on. Must be the new firmware doing it. Device info, firmware V1.13. There you go. Now let's do a little test. I have my AD200 Pro Hybrid Flash with Mac Mod Grip and Grid. Since the trigger is reset to channel 21 and I have the AD200 on channel 7. So let me set the X3 trigger to channel 7 as well. Anyway, it seems to work just fine. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back for the next video.